didn't see it. Vegas Sleep, and they were able to cut their losses, hit that early rotation. And for both of these squads, if you win that rotation and you're set up properly, you're going to find a lot of time on this hill. But 50 uncontested seconds at P1. Vegas, you know how difficult it is to break it towards P2. You hit down tunnel, he's going to pick you apart. But Nero not slowing down. Had a phenomenal series last series. Continues with the beat down on the down. Are going to be likely where this map is won and lost. LAG, when they get into a setup first, they are 100% successful when it comes to holding. They have never been broken on how is the kill. 20 seconds, and you've already got fame setting up over towards new. And Vegas looks like they want to try to hit this first scrap. They've got apartment side control, so why not? Really well done. Steps, and you know all the pressure from Vegas Legion is coming through the back end. An unfortunate team kill gonna at least even up the numbers you talk about the trade battle here comes purge the rookie starting off seven and one he had 24 lag to get fully set up towards the next but it's an all-out battle off this rotation a 2v2 now it turns into a 1v1 the rookie finds one but does he find the positioning of assault because he's taking his sweet time until the back He's in inner, inner side, inner side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Couple of scary moments at the end of P5, but hey, at the top wall, bangs are connecting, and LAG find the first couple of the kills. Vegas in a little bit of trouble, but Attach makes space a little bit through tunnel side. Now it's just down to the 50-50 long range battles as we fight over P2. And with Vegas reinforcing from to get the rest, they need to be a great hope from Vegas Legion to get back into this game. They get another full 60. So it's basically 170 to 180 going back into the P3, where the Gorillas were the team that initially dominated that hill. Sitting here in the back, couple of the kills come through and yeah there's purge finally starts to get himself involved but it's not quite enough for an initial break followed up by standy that's good for the scrap time if you can hold it sort of good for the scrap time there's still gorillas players all around the and also rotate so huge leaders advantage for lag but the opening kills for the legion looking solid here comes the next hit all of it coming through the top side staircase attach can't get any nades to hit does he know how many players are here no rotation over towards next now they can no longer win it in towards the barbershop if you are the gorillas you have to make a decision do if we fight for this chunk time or do we try to go for the break at new standing with a huge one-on-one -on -one. said he's about to have a master class that's a master class of a butter in already 30 seconds knocked off the clock no information has been gained so they must be playing nice and slow towards the back lead working his way up the middle tank with only 30 seconds left can he find the time he know he cannot diamond con takes him down and now it's attached left in the 1v3 five seconds left the gorillas are not even close to the site fame gets cut down assault now left in the 1v4 and warmers ain't gonna help you here. Back to the attack they go. Quick hit over towards DVD. Fame hitting from one side, Estriel the other, but Standy keeps his composure, slips over. Fame in trouble, but does take care of Standy before the drop shot was there to punish. So we go 3v3, and now LAG have kind of taken a situation. Attach finds one, but now you have to take care of Estriel, and they're not even gonna go for that child. They're gonna wrap back and try to isolate Assault. Only 13 HP, he's able to wiggle out with his life, but it's only 25 seconds oh. left. You gotta get a move. So you've got Estriel in the danger zone, playing over towards Tractor. Cruz gets called in. You see the rotation underway. It's in a 3v3, but you had to take down Diamond Con. That's such a big kill. He would have potentially earned a cruise missile, but was just a 4v3. It's now with 3v2. Vegas can win it here. Salt in trouble. More aggressive. You can't leave your team. But the initial hit for Vegas largely squandered off the get-go. Yeah, they were just a little bit too scattered. Sandy was hitting the out route to try to hit Black Perch. Last one alive. Diamond Con, one off from a possible cruise missile. Perk gives him a chance set up a fame. Able to tally the kill beforehand. Long range shots all for Salt Diamond Con. Now near over the top, able to find fame, no worries. Trades do come through for LAG, so not put into the spawn trap, and actually a free run. That B point, and the only fall to play puts up his Estriel. You take care of him, that's a clean four dead. Vegas Legion just have to hold strong for the next 20 seconds, because you're almost ready for it again. Right down elevator alley, he's not losing gunfights. 17 and 11. Gotta try to keep yourself out of your base, and that's what Sandy's trying to do, but some bad cod timing there. Turns at the wrong time. Estriel takes him down. So now a new game plan for Vegas Legion. Let's try to attack towards that. One dimensional again, but a couple of the kills do open the door. That's a big two kills. Start it off. Now you open up that B Street pressure. You still have a couple players around. Hey, if they could have won those gunfights, you're even in the better position. But at least you're able to pause the game clock. Now at this B point, just have to win this next set of fights. These gunfights are going to decide if you're going to win this map or not. Trades are abound. Second, so LAG in a better position because they are on the defensive side. They're trading efficiently. You're swanning all the way across the map and the game clock doesn't pause until you get on a point. Finally, Nero able to tally a kill for Vegas. 
back on in and complete that extra time. So now they have a minute left, 12 to 15 in lives remaining. If you are Vegas Legion, you can't go for dead. You've got one player deep for LAG in assault. Just big. Comes through, clock continues to tick. Progress, did he deplete it? But attached, could possibly still save the day. Tough gunfight, but the contest is in. He's the last one. Nade, stun, and the junkyard side. We just have those strong, but we also have to start to get about that rotation. There's only 25 seconds left, and Gorillas are a step ahead. Couple of finesse. But he actually doesn't go for a pitch. He's going to commit to the team fight with his team. Gets fame one shot. Is anyone going to be there for the trade? No. They find him, but it's still more bodies and better positions for the Gorillas. Clean three. Last player up is going to be Purge. Just got to play. He stayed alive, and he finds the initial two kills. So Gorillas find a break for now, but for how long? As Standy cuts down the third. Still assault. The soul man in towards this point. We get this trade. This tw final 20 is yours. Side Nero's got him covered on the other. Vegas, a complete surround, a complete buffer here at Rubble. Now taking the lead and growing to one of the largest margins to this point. LA four in a row, really getting himself back into the game. And with, the, again, help from his teammates from hotel side, he can get in and get some time for LAG. Now Vegas Legion are in a situation where they need to find a break because that rotation is going to be so following in their name. It's a large cushion here from LAG, but you put 60 seconds here for Vegas, we're back to level terms again. And that's a perfect play, though, because they usually... The pistol may have given the green light for LAG to hit this one last time. 25 seconds remaining. Purge, last one standing. Gets the first cleanly. Now to the back doors. He's got the rival in hand, but can't spam down a... ...with the same text and that attached mid-map. Make sure that no one else in the gorillas can try to hit any sort of a pinch. So it all has to come from the front. Attached, push to side. LAG's SMG's again doing a nice job here at Fountain as they can... Bed. Purge is cutting things off over towards Top Soda. No one can really fully get the challenge, but here comes the play. 217 to 236. LAG find the full four-man feed, and now they're in trying to win the game. It has to be the tax. Oh, he just there. Farewell to them. Gorillas, they are here. They are trying to force game five. Got to get the kills from inside the hill, and no one's able to... One last team tonight. The number one break. He's kind of asked for it. We were clamoring for it on the invasion. It finally started to come through. This time, it's a show of force for its beat. The bomb is not a part of this play, though. Try to get this bomb down. Andy can watch the cross. Nero pops out, finds the first. Help from Purge, but doesn't find the kill. Just left the standy and can't quite double down. So there we go. But it's life. Big play right there from Escrio to get all the information for his team. How does he manage to do that? Salt gets tagged by, Nate still stays alive. He's back over towards the bomb site, just down to attach. He's got one 1v3 on the day, but this one would be a miracle. Attached, just trying to find contact, but no problem playing invasion, and they have no.